What's good, fam? Welcome to your daily PSA. The Black Nerd Speaks. I wasn't feeling my. I've been feeling my best the last couple of days, but you know I'm getting all that checked out, whatever. But no, no, it's gonna be all right. I'm gonna make this video short and to the point. I made a video about my submission to my K-pop and I got a lot of positive remarks about it which I was like yeah awesome but I had one person in particular who wasn't very positive about it now this person not only left the comment and I kind of like you know pushed them off a cliff I helped them push them off a cliff because that's what they needed made a blog about me and this is what they were saying and you know I know some people are gonna tell me blah, blah, blah. listen I understand what they were saying I get it you don't have to repeat it to me like four times I fucking get the gist of what they were saying but listen to what I'm saying they said that I would not get picked because I was a level-headed intelligent person and I'm not the crazy psychotic spaz K-pop girl and I was black now they kept emphasizing the part of me being black after I put them to sleep permanently they made a vlog saying this and they also reference from shiny's world date of how they went out with the girls and that they wanted the girls to dress up as like get a makeover as their favorite korean like actresses actresses in the entertainment industry to look korean and they were like what if it was a black girl and basically they were just making fun of black people period they're making fun of black people and what makes it so funny the person that wrote this vlog blog excuse me wrote another blog about why black people should care about k-pop and angry k-pop bloggers and stuff vloggers stuff like that the person who wrote this was a black person now the blogs were written very intelligently and i saw some points that they were putting out there that i could understand but at the same time i'm just like are you fucking slow or stupid in general because this person not only was picking on black people in general about k-pop but they said that the only reason that we k-pop fans black k-pop fans are listening to k-pop in the first place because either a idol is working with a black producer or working with lee michelle or working with a black choreographer or oh. Do you realize that sometimes, or not sometimes, but do you realize that people want to listen to K-pop just to listen to K-pop itself? K-pop is expanding globally. Why are you pinpointing this on black people, focus on black people, period? I don't know what the fuck happened to this person if they were had a horrible experience, racial experience, period, or it was just been like straight up uh uh how can i put this it was it was a tragic traumatic experience for them but baby girl get the fuck over it everybody else is trying to have fun and just listen to the music why can't you why are you so angst about it that was the most erroneous egregious Close-minded shit I have ever heard in my life. Sister, are you fucking stupid? Man, you know what? This is hilarious. These old fucking high-ass, uh, high-mighty Negroes come out of nowhere and say bullshit like that. And have other motherfuckers laughing at us and they think it's okay. Do you think this is okay? It's not okay. And what I mean, not the black K-pop community stick together. I mean... The K-pop community sticking together as a whole period. Not just black, white, whatever. Everybody, period. And when people read stuff like that, they get discouraged. And they don't want to go audition. They don't want to make videos. They don't want to do it. Because of shit like that. 
somebody was so discouraged they're half japanese half black and they was gonna make a my k-pop video they got so discouraged I'm like i don't want to do it and i was like you better do it let me tell you something people like that you know i don't know what happened to them maybe they had some like i said had a traumatic racial experience with people in k-pop or they just think they're above everybody else which they're f fucking not your asshole stinks and smells like everybody else sit down Take several seats, please. Okay, you're an egregious asshole whose, you know, neurotic, over-opinionated views are so far up your ass that you can't even see it. And I can understand some viewpoints on this person's blog, blog excuse me, but some of them are just quite completely bullshit. And they think it's funny. And I'm just like, whoa, who the fuck do you think you are? And it's hilarious how this person kept saying why the fuck we should care about K-pop when mostly majority of everything K-pop has derived from African American culture. I swear to God, this is why aliens won't come talk to us. We don't have nice things. And this is the reason why like higher intelligence in outer space look at us and they're like, why? Why the fuck we? Sh why the fuck we need to come down there? They're idiots. There's a carnival of idiots running itself, and she's running it. She's out there, Ferris wheel. Woo! Have you ever looked at somebody and the wheel in their head is spinning, but the hamster is dead? That's how the person is that wrote that blog. I mean, they're not completely idiots. An idiot. I mean, they, there are some intelligence written in that blog, but at the same time, I just found it like erroneous and just asinine and fucking stupid as period. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't care if you're black, white, Latino, whatever. If you wanna make K-pop vlogs, blogs, or you wanna K-pop vlogs, if you wanna talk about K-pop and express yourself through music, stuff like that, you keep doing it. Especially you K black K-pop K-poppers out there. Keep doing it. Don't feel discouraged. Don't feel upset. Don't feel you have to listen to the, stop listening to this because that person said you have no chance to do it. It's pr progress is being made, but it's being made slowly, but it's being made. And I may not get picked to win this context, but you know what? I am encouraging others to go out there and enter, submit, and maybe you'll get more exposure. And draw more people into K-pop. That's what I want. And if I win, I hope the people that told me that I couldn't win get sick to the point they jump out of a fucking window while it's still shut. Oh, it feels good to be me. Yes, Lord. Anyway, it don't matter if you're black, white, whatever. It is music. And if you want to listen to it, you listen to it. Because it's no one's fucking prerogative or opinion otherwise. There's the three F's. If they're not feeding you, fucking you, okay, or uh, was it feed? Is it two F's? Feeding you, fucking you, or forking you over some money? They don't have the right to tell you what the fuck you should do, especially with music. So what I'm saying to you out there, as your big sister and your friend. Keep listening to K-pop, J-pop, J-rock, whatever the fuck you want to. And if you want to make videos about it, go ahead. If you want to be angry and you see shit, do it. Me, I don't, don't talk about racism in K-pop all the time. I talk about other bullshit in K-pop. I keep it real. I still enjoy it. There's shit I see. Okay? It, it, it don't make no sense how one uppity person, this one, this one person just wants to fuck it up for everybody else. Sit your erroneous, dried up, thirsty ass down. God damn, for real. I don't know if this, her herpes has flared up or she has a yeast infection of the gods or she hasn't get fucked in a while. But this bitch is on some other shit. Sit your high, mighty, negrous ass down. Anyway, I got to go. Do what you need to do. Just listen to music. Don't give a fuck about what anybody else say. Be happy. Hey, K-pop is going global. I think just music in general, whatever genre it is, you have the fucking right to listen to it. Okay? Well, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, if the person who wrote this blog is watching, I hate her. 
talk to you guys later love peace increase it